eukaryotic cell protists plants animals and fungi have eukaryotic cell these cells have membrane bound organelles in them and that's why they show extensive compartmentalization these cells also have complex locomotory as well as psychoskeletal structures you can see two types of eukaryotic cells in the diagram the animal cell and the plant cell eukaryotic cells are not similar they are different you can see here the plant cell it has cell wall plus plastids and a large vacuole whereas animal cells do not have these and animal cells have centriole which is absent in plant cell cell membrane cell membrane is made up of bilayer of lipids and lipids are arranged in such a manner that their polar head is outwards and their hydrophobic tail is inwards these lipids are made up of phosphoglycerides it is also believed and found out later that cell membrane also contains proteins plus carbohydrates and when these proteins were extracted and studied it was found that these proteins are of two type integral proteins and peripheral proteins integral proteins are the proteins which are buried inside the membrane and peripheral proteins are the proteins which lies on the surface of the membrane for example erythrocyte it contains 52% of protein and 40% of lipid the well accepted model of cell membrane is fluid mosaic model you can see it in the diagram you can see how protein is attached and how the arrangement of lipids is shown in this diagram this model was given by singer and nicolson according to this model it is because of the quasi fluid nature of the lipids the transport of certain substances is possible across this membrane that is this nature of lipid provides semi permeability to this membrane and whenever the transport of a neutral solute is to take place it will take place through diffusion simple diffusion process no energy consumption will be required the transport will take from a region of higher concentration to towards a region of lower concentration similar is the case of water when water is to move across this membrane it will move with the process known as osmosis from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration but when polar substances have to move across this membrane then they need carrier proteins or energy pump as in sodium potassium energy pump and this mechanism will be known as active transport and this transport will occur against concentration gradient that is the movement will occur from lower to higher concentration cell wall cell wall is non living rigid structure it provides shape as well as mechanical and chemical damage prevention and prevents the cell from various infections in case of plants it is made up of cellulose and hemicellulose whereas in case of algae it is made up of cellulose galactans and various other minerals